Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer and through this video we will work with expansion panel component from Angular Material. As you can see on my screen we will set up the entire component. You will also see how can you show and hide this toggle icon, this arrow icon as well. And next to that I will show you how can you use specific events that are usable through this expansion panel component. Before we start, did you know that only around 2% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel? If you are not subscribed, please make sure to do that as I am posting new tutorials weekly. Now let's start with this video. Before we do anything, as usual we will first generate the specific component for this material component. To do that, in my terminal, here I will use command of ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my components. Well, I will put my component into components folder, and component will be expansion panel. Now that component is generated in my app.components.html file, I can use that. First of all, let's comment out this divider component from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link to that video down in the description of this one. Also, after this divider component here, I will first put the comment of expansion panel. And then I will use my component that I just generated, which is app-expansion-panel. And I will also put the ending comment, which is end of expansion panel. Now, as with all Angular Material components, we will need to import a proper module for this component as well. So for that, open up your app.module.ts file. And in this file, first of all, the component that I just generated, I will move it to a tab. And here now I will import my math expansion module. And I will import that from at angular slash material slash expansion. Also make sure to pass this module down in imports array as well. So by that we can use this component. Now that we imported this module go into your components and open up this expansion component that we generated and here we will use this material component. First of all here I will create the div with the style attribute and this style attribute will hold a width of 700 pixel then margin will be set to 50 pixel top and bottom and auto so we could move this expansion panel in the center and here now we can use our expansion panel inside of this div. Now to create panels with angular material we need first of all to use this element called mat accordion. This mat accordion will serve us as a wrapper for our panels and inside we will create our panels. So to create a panel itself we will use the element mat expansion panel and there are a few things that we could pass to this panel for example first thing that we could pass is math expansion panel header which is obviously a header for our panel so for example this header could hold the element of math panel title which will be a title for our panel and i will simply pass the text here of panel one and next to this title, we can also have an element called math panel description. And here I will put uh, just the text of panel one description. Now next to this title description and this header itself, whatever we pass next will be the kind of a body for our expansion panel. So simply here I could create the paragraph after my header. So after this element here and this paragraph could be just lorem ipsum text for example this is too long so i will go view and word wrap so you could see the whole text here on the screen and that will be pretty much it we have a header and also the body of our panel so we could simply copy and paste this panel two more times to create three different panels and as i mentioned i will show you the example how can we show and hide that toggle icon that arrow icon so for this second one here we can simply pass the attribute of hide toggle and this attribute doesn't need to be set to anything, it could just be here. By passing this hide toggle, we will hide, well successfully hide that arrow on the right side of our panel. 
And for the third panel here, I will show you how can you pass specific events that we can use with this panel. And for these events, well, usually we will do something on those events. So let's first of all open up our TypeScript file for this expansion panel uh, component. And inside I will simply create one property of uh, panel state, which will be the type of boolean. And initial value for this panel state will be set to false. We will just try to change this panel state depending on our event. So for example, here to this math expansion panel, we can pass event of opened. And this is specific event for this panel. And here once our panel is open, I will set my panel state to be equal to true. And uh, next to this opened, I do also have an option to pass closed event to listen to this closed event. And once that happens, I will use my panel state and set that to false. And now once we have our events, let's just change the text a bit. For example, for this second panel, I will set panel 2 and panel 2 description. And for the third panel, I will set panel 3 and panel 3 description. Now we can test this. So for that, just open your local host and all panels that we could see here are toggable. So those are properly working. Also, the first panel has this arrow this kind of carrot on the right side, while the second panel doesn't have that because we use that attribute of hide toggle. And next to that, our third panel will successfully open and close, so obviously there is no errors. This means that our panel state is successfully changing, so those events are, well, working nicely. And that should be pretty much it. If you have any questions, make sure to comment those down below. Also, did you know that only 2% of you who are watching my tutorials are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure to do that as I'm posting new videos weekly. But this is it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I'm posting new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.